Here we are, below the ancient bridge of death. Um, this is the ni last nice warm day, probably in Wisconsin of 2020. This probably will be my last day of open water fishing in Wisconsin in 2020. Probably do an ice fishing episode, hopefully next week if the ice is thick enough. Then I'll go back to Missouri for a month to duck out the coldest part of the year while I try to hunt a big blue gato fish. But today we're focused on bagging a big fish of death. All right, hopefully get some big fish of death here today. Cause uh, last couple of times we were successful in getting a couple of suckers, but definitely no big fish of death. And we really, really want a big fish of death these days. Using the, um, using the spoon bait, using the spoon bait for the flicker, hopefully we can get a big fish of death. I see a little more activity on my set baits. Maybe the suckers or maybe even the carp are a little bit more active today. Or maybe it's a catfish or some other fish. The water is slightly warmer, so that might be why, and it's slightly warmer air temperature. So the uh, rough fish might be a little bit more active. Maybe it's a catfish, hopefully, but none of them have taken the entire bait so far and run with it. So uh, we're gonna have to wait until one of them fully takes it. But there's definitely been a couple of pulls. Oh, got something here, I think. Got something here. Yep, definitely got something here. That didn't take nearly as long as the last couple of days. It's a fighting pretty hard. I, I've never seen like, a, I haven't seen a sucker or a carp come up that early in the struggle, but it's on pretty good it looks like. I think it might be a carp this time. Don't think it's a sucker. It's the first carp I've actually tugged, uh, caught here in a while because it's been too cold. Uh, it's actually been way too cold recently for me to catch the carp, but it looks like they're biting today, which is good, which is good. I think. This is not a big one, it's not a big carp, but it's struggling pretty, uh, it's not small, I would say it's about three pounds. Three pound carp, not too bad, not too bad. So the carp are biting today, which means I'm probably gonna get quite a few fish. But there we go, there's the carp. I'm gonna have to think, I think I'm gonna cross the other pole and bring it over here. It's a, it's a good fish, it's a good fish. Struggling pretty hard. Struggling pretty hard. I could tell it was pretty much a carp from the first few minutes of the fight, the first few seconds of the fight, but uh, there you go. It's a common carp. Common carp. Common carp. Very common, very carpish. What do you think, common carp? Let me go. I'm just a carp. I'm not tasty. All right, carp, you are not very tasty, and I'm not going to slave fish while I'm in Wisconsin. Thank you. All right, this carp is going to go back. This carp is going back. Okay, common carp. You're very common and very carpish. See ya. Before I even get a chance to get settled, I think I have another fish on the other pole. Yeah, it's definitely another fish. I think it's another carp. They're biting pretty hard today. They are biting pretty hard today. Could be a sucker, I guess. This one's not pulling that hard. But it's been on the pole, I think, for a while. It does feel like a carp, though, because suckers usually don't do this. But it could be a sucker. I, I've been wrong before on this. Suckers, some suckers can fight pretty hard. I think it is a common though. I think it's a common. So they're a biting today pretty hard. Hopefully it's a pike, but I'm pretty sure it's a carp. Uh, yeah, it's a carp. It's another common carp. It's a smaller one this time. But man, these carp, regardless of how big they are, they fight like crazy. Remember, this is a medium heavy rod with 20 pound braid. So this is not the same setup usually that you're catching uh, bass and uh, crappie and stuff with but another common carp and they haven't been biting very well recently but today with the water temperature just slightly higher they are definitely biting another common carp common carp see ya we moved over to this other spot type thing it's more of like an open place uh, not by the bridge because I haven't caught really anything under the bridge and most of the carp I've actually caught are actually in that pool over there like more in the open, so I'm gonna see um, if there's anything to be caught with this my glinty bait. Fit. Oh, I got one! I got one! I got one! Oh wow, wow, that was fast! That was fast! It's a small one though, but that was fast. It's a northern pike, so they are in the open water. They are not, they are definitely not under the bridge. A northern pike. Got one, a northern pike, a small northern pike. 
but a pike nonetheless. Been hunting for these for a while, but a northern pike out in the open water. All right, pikey pike, time to go. There you go, right off. Oh, I think I got another one, guys. Dang, coming, oh, I think I might have foul hooked something. Cause, uh, or, oh, dang, the pike just cut my string. The pike cut my string. That kind of sucked, I lost one of my lures, but uh, there's a lot of pike out here. I'm not really sure if that cut the string or not. That knot's basically been there for like five days, so I might have, I should have probably retied it before I started fishing again. But it does confirm that there's a lot of fish in this open water. I think, I'm pretty sure that was a pike. I don't think there would be any bass biting in like 40 degree temperature water. Could be wrong though, but I think it was pretty much a pike. This is getting kind of ridiculous. That is like the third fish hookup in like 20 minutes. That is like the third fish hookup in like 20, oh, it's pulling two or towards that. I think this one's a little bigger. Yeah, it's definitely a little bigger, I think. But uh, I got it, I got it. Oh, this one's a nice one. This one is a nice one. Check that out. This one is definitely a very nice one. Northern Pike, Northern Pike. This is the third fish in legit 20 minutes. Oh my God, this place, this particular pool is filled with fish. Very unfortunate how muddy it is here, but it's basically all muddy and uh, couldn't get the hook out without uh, pulling this thing on shore. But a nice, nice Northern Pike. Very nice northern pike. I just wish this place wasn't so muddy. All right, muddy pike. Back in the water you go. Right off, right off. That was a medium big fish of death. I want a big, big fish of death. See if I can get a 40 inch pike. I think if I get a 40 inch pike, it'll probably break my string though. That's the problem. Need to make sure the drag is set right for like a 40 inch pike. Cause I didn't really set the drag at all on that one. Yep, there we got some drag here. Did I already get a hit? Nope. Probably just almost stuck on something on the bottom, but didn't really get a hit. But there is a lot of pike here. We've confirmed that for sure. I mean, I got three hits within like 20 minutes and I managed to get two, but I did lose a spoon, unfortunately. But you know, can't win them all. And it's been a pretty good day. Two carp, two pike so far and a pretty decent one. Should have came here yesterday. Well, I didn't even notice this bite. I saw a little ting, but I thought the fish came off. But this one, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Pretty sure it's a bottom base, so it has to be like a carp or something. Yeah, by the way, it's fighting. It's probably a carp. Might be a sucker, I don't know. Carps are usually pretty noticeable when they pull, so it could be a sucker, I guess. Let me see where it is. Let me, let me see where this is at. Let me see where this is at. Oh, it's trying to pull near the tree. Is that a pike? I oh, can't be a pike, can it? It's like literally a worm. It, it, what is that? That almost looks like a pike. Oh no, it's a carp. No, it's definitely a carp or a sucker. Kind of, they're kind of hard to tell. I think it's a carp though. I'm pretty. Oh yeah, I snagged one. Snagged a common. Snagged a common carp. It's a decent size one though. I have to say, it's not a small one. It's decent size, not huge, but common carp. Snagged them this time. I think this is bigger than the other two. I actually. Uh, it's actually bigger than the other two. No, no, I didn't snag him. He's actually, uh, it's actually hooked in the mouth, guys. It's actually hooked in the mouth, just the string wrapped around him, but common carp, common carp. Uh, let me pull this, oh, it fell off the hook. All right, back into the water you go, carp. Six fish today. I don't know if I can catch that, uh, count that last one as landed. I didn't really try to land him. It's kind of like played around with him for a bit and he fell off the hook at the end. But uh, another carp, that's the third carp for today. Three carps, one sucker, and uh, two pike, not bad. I did lose a spoon though, so that kind of sucks, but you know, it's good, it's good. Oh, got another one. Oh, this one's big. This one's big, this one's big. Oh, I, I can feel it. Well, I don't know if it's big, big, because I set the drag to be pretty loose, but it's fighting, it's fighting. Oh, just as I was saying, just as I was saying, man. Just as I was saying. Oh, I need to pull in my Super Saiyan 3 powers. Probably need to tighten my drag too. If I don't... Alright, here we go. 
Definitely need to tighten the drag on this. It's pulling pretty hard. I think this one's a decent sized fish. Oh, I wish I had someone to help me. It's definitely a decent sized fish, yep. Oh, interesting. I foul hooked it. I foul hooked it, that's interesting. On the side. But another fish, another northern. Decent sized fish. Let me uh, try to go get the next. This is gonna be a challenge to get this dude in the net. But this one was actually foul hooked. I think he probably went for it and missed. And then, uh, yeah, probably went for it and missed. And then I got him. There we go, there we go. We got him, we got him. Freaking best day ever for pike fishing. Best day ever. You're the third pike I caught today. What do you think, Mr. Pike? Let me go. Okay, I will let you go now, water wolf. Back into the water you go. There you go, Mr. Northern Pike. Very good. Barely had any time to wash my hands from that last pike. I already have another fish. This is just massive, massive fish. Massive, massive fish. Massive amounts of fish. There's nothing over there in that puddle right now, but just a lot of fish today, guys. Folks, one of my busiest fishing days ever. Massive, massive fish. Massive, massive fish. Wintry water, I'm almost sure this one's a carp. I've never felt a sucker quite this heavy. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's a sucker. It's a, it's a, it's a silver red horse. Man, I guess I suck at gauging fish. It's a silver red horse, but it is fighting pretty hard. Silver red horse, another silver red horse. It's a bigger silver red horse than last time, but still a silver red horse. It's like the eighth or ninth fish today. All right, it didn't get itself off, so I'm gonna bring it up. Looky here, a silver red horse. Silver red horse today. Today has been really good for fishing. Really, really good. All right, Mr. Red Horse, see ya. Well, got super muddy. Gonna have to wash all my clothes when I get back. But that is a small, small price to pay for catching multiple big fish of death. Like legit multiple big fish of death. I got another fish on that other pole, I think, but I'm gonna pull this one back first before I check to see if uh, that fish hooked. It doesn't look like it hooked. No, nah, it's still on there, I bet. Looks like it's still on there. Slightly moving the line. So let's actually uh, see what kind of, oh, I got a fish on all my poles now. So uh, I gotta like, uh, yep, there's a fish on here. And there's probably a fish on the white one too. Uh, that's probably some kind of sucker. Probably some kind of sucker. Probably some kind of sucker. Yep, another sucker. No wonder there's so many big pike of death here. So many big suckers of death. Another uh, silver red horse, I think. Yep, another silver red horse. Silver red horse, silvery red horse. Another silvery red horse, see a red horse. Looks like I got one on here too. This is the first fish I've gotten on this particular location, like in the little like drainage area towards the little creek. But definitely got a fish here. Oh, it's a common. It's a common carp. A small common, I think it just got off. All right, that's fine. Didn't really need that fish. Didn't really need that fish at all. But look, my pole is going insane. I should pull this one up. That's gotta be a carp. That's gotta be a carp, right? I guess it could be a sucker. They've surprised me today. They're quite lively. Quite lively. Incredibly lively today. Got to keep it away from the pole. Got to keep it away from over there. No, it's it's a sucker, and it's not even a big sucker. Oh wow! No, it's a common. It's a common. Never mind. It's a small common. It's a small common carp. It's all right though. It's all right. I like carp. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Nice little carp. See ya. All right, another fish. Right after sunset. This might be the last fish of the Wisconsin open water season. I don't think I'm going to catch any more big fish of death after this because I think they've kind of shut off, at least in here. I think I've caught most of them that were it, like in this section. There's still probably a couple by the bridge, but it's getting pretty dark, so this is probably going to be the last big fish, well, last fish of death. This isn't a fish of death, by the way. It's probably a carp. But uh, this is going to be the last fish of the Wisconsin open water season. 
It's actually a, is that a sucker? Yeah, I think it's a sucker actually. It's another, I don't know. You see, all these fish get super muddy, even like when they're just in the water. So really not much you can do about that at this point because you're fishing on a mud flat. So uh, there we go. Silver red horse, silver red horse. Last fish of the Wisconsin 2020 open water season. Last fish of the Wisconsin 2020 open water season. I'll see you guys out on the ice, either out on the ice or back in Missouri. But uh, I will be back next year for more open water once the new year comes. Silver red horse. All right, you're the last fish. Farewell fish. And you will swim off. All right, everyone, that's the end of the day. The sun is set. I'm gonna go home before it gets too dark. So I gotta make some dinner and stuff. But one of the best fishing days, and this is a fitting end to the Wisconsin 2020 open water year. Uh, I'll probably see you back on the ice maybe next week. And, uh, or we'll be back in Missouri trying to land a giant blue gato fish. See you guys, it's been an amazing adventure today.